was celebrated yesterday is only tolerated today. If you are not up to date, you will soon be out of date. The only way, the only way to remain perpetually relevant in personal, professional, and public life is to constantly, consistently, and continuously update yourself. The Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and our esteemed guests. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are we doing today? All right. After about 86 years of the current traditional program at Toastmasters with some other people in some other countries in the world, or the 146 countries where Toastmasters are present in the world, we call the Legacy Program. The Toastmasters International believes that yesterday's excellence is today's time. The Toastmasters International believes that what was celebrated yesterday is only tolerated. The Toastmasters International believes that if you're not up to date, you will soon be out of date. The Toastmasters believes that the only way to remain perpetually relevant in personal, professional, and public life is to constantly, consistently, and continuously upgrade yourself. And so, in putting that to action, they looked at the current program that we run at Toastmasters, which we call the traditional program, or the legacy program, and said, people can enjoy more from this program. As a matter of fact, this decision was not sentimentally arrived at. I don't want over this recurrent situation where they realize that a meager 10% of over 350,400 members clustered in 16,000 clubs dotting the other across this country hardly go beyond the competent communication program. You don't want to talk about the figures of those who get us up to where I'm privileged to be at right now, which is DTA. So it was a very pernicious, concerning, and disconcerting situation. And having rolled over it over a period of time, Toastmasters decided to take action. So in 2010, they assigned the fifth female president of Toastmasters International, who was our international president between the year 2010 and 2011, distinguished Toastmaster Pat Johnson to superintend over this adverse task. So she began by dividing the 140 countries into the existing regions and districts. We have the 102 districts. So for each of the regions, she sampled 20 learning masters, those who will conceive brood over and bring to fruition the baby called the new program, the Pathways Learning Experience. Twenty learning masters per region. The best way to improve on your product is to go back to your customers. And that's why I have a problem when organizations find it difficult to receive feedback. They are quick to want to be defensive. As someone who earns his living from corporate training, executive coaching, capacity development, I tell organizations that when you listen to your customers, that is a free of charge consultancy that you should have paid me for. So Toastmasters went back to the members and said, 
Why don't you want to go beyond CC? What can we do to improve this program? Through the learning masters, they harvested the feedback of the people and went back to the drawing board, strategy board, to go and mull over these findings. And so they repackaged the current traditional program, revitalized it, and gave us what is today known as the Pathways Learning Experience. So we need to be sure that this experiment is going to work. So for every of the project in the current Pathways Learning Experience, they asked the volunteers again who are going to be guinea pigs in this laboratory of revolution. Who are going to partake of this program before it is introduced to hundreds of countries? So 168 Toastmasters in 22 countries volunteered to be part of this program. Every of the speeches, every of the projects were taken through rigorous evaluation of not less than six times. And to compare the results to be sure that best will work in any country, regardless of the race, regardless of the background, regardless of the economic situation and the cultural differences. And so the first rollout began February 2017. And so it's been a year now. Please, yeah, I'm saying that. It's been a year now that the program has rolled out at District 57 in the West. Other districts have rolled out. We have around two districts. In addition to the learning masters who were those who incubated the vision, DTM Park Johnson also <laughs> assigned chief ambassadors for each district. So because we have 102 districts, we have 102 chief ambassadors. From the chief ambassadors, they also asked for volunteers who are going to be ambassadors and guides. Our region in West and Central Africa of 16 countries covers West Africa, continental Europe, and the Middle East. So we belong to Region 11. And we belong to District 94, which covers the corridor of West Africa and Central Africa. And so in District 94, the district director, who incidentally is also the chief ambassador, the distinguished Toastmaster Yusuf Usongo, who works and lives in Burkina Faso, who is from Cote d'Ivoire, assigned 38 ambassadors and guides. And I'm privileged to be one. Some are guides alone, some are ambassadors alone, some are guides and ambassadors. I'm privileged to be a guide and an ambassador. To go and sensitize the district before the rollout. Our district will roll out by 20th of March 2018. Are we together? Is somebody giving malice to me? Is somebody giving malice to me? No. So when I ask a simple question, please answer. Are we together? Yes. I'm going to show you a video quickly that will summarize this new program. Then I will share a few other thoughts before we take questions and answers. Because this presentation is a standard two hour presentation, but I have only a mega 12 minutes to work with. So I, I'm trying to do some miracle here. Thank you. Learning experience, an exciting, flexible, and interactive way to develop your skills and help others in your club develop theirs. Building on Dr. Smith.